Hi everybody. Today we're going to see a core capability of Cortex XOR. That is how to do microsurveys using data collection tasks and use that for various different use cases. The focus use case today is crisis management. Let's first look at the capabilities of the data collection tasks that is already present in Cortex X Core. The data collection task is a specific type of task that can be part of a playbook and can be used to collect answers from one or many end users. These end users do not need to be XOR users or do not need to log in into XOR system. The data collection task can contain different types of questions which can have answers like single select, multi-select, short text, true, false, and this enables you to collect all kinds of different uh, options from the users. Responses from the data collection task that comes from individual users can further be used in automations to decide different paths, different conditions. For example, if a user responds that they need IT help, you can go ahead and create an IT ticket. And we're gonna see that in the demonstration. Also, the responses coming back from the data collection task can be stored for widgets and dashboards so that all the data is collected properly and then can be used for status reporting later on. Let's look at the use case that we're going to analyze today. Today, we're going to look at a use case where we have modeled employees inside of the organizations as an object in Cortex XOR. Then we have created widgets and dashboard about the status of this employee data. For example, when they were sent a survey, did they respond? Did they not respond? If they responded, how many of them need help for a particular scenario? Uh, which department do they belong to? And many other parameters like those. Also, in the use case, we have got the list of users who we need to send the survey by using a query into Azure AD. And this is actually just another integration into the Cortex XO platform, which we use as an example. You can use AD or you can use other directory services or just manually enter the list of users who you want to send the survey to. We're going to see how we iterate through each of the user response and then take appropriate action for each of them. This iteration process we will see can happen as the responses roll in, even though the survey could run for up to a day or multiple days as you go along. So let's look at the demo. Let's start our demo from the dashboard that we had talked about. And this is a very simple dashboard which I have created here to show the power of how configurable the objects and the dashboards are. This dashboard shows you very simple information like the employee health status, how many people responded that they're having no employee health issues. They uh, how many people responded that they're having no health issues? One person responded they are not feeling well, and we have no uh, status on one of the other persons. Other things like from the survey that we have sent, how many people responded who have been notified, uh, and information around the department of people who have been contacted, and the details on one person who's saying they're not feeling well, uh, their level of details. Each person who we are looking at here or each employee has their own view as well where you can go ahead and drill down and see the basic information like have they responded to what was the timeline what different status happened there was an it ticket that was created and passed for this particular employee each of this information related to this employee could be linked and created in a custom view you're seeing a sample view here this entire view could be customized with custom fields and different information about the employee as well. Now that we have looked at a quick view of the dashboard and how the employee data is laid out, let's go ahead and see how to run surveys as we talked using the data collection task. So let's quickly switch to the playbook view playbooks are our workflows here and as you can see this is our starting playbook which goes ahead and the first thing it does is collect list of employees you want to send the survey to we are using 
Azure AD here as an example place to get the details. We get the manager name, get direct reports for the manager, and then we go ahead and update the employee records that we are sending them survey and start to send the survey out right here. We start the loop of iterating through each of the survey response. And for iterating the it survey response, we are using a concept which we call sub playbooks, which would be looped through. The sub playbook here is looped through and it runs every 30 seconds and with the maximum number of iterations being 1000 here. This playbook goes ahead and iterates through all the responses that you have received since the last run. We will drill into the playbook and see how it works in a second. Also notice that these looping conditions are very customizable. So you can exit either with number of loops, you can exit when the survey has expired. As you can see what we have set up here, the survey has expired and that is when we are exiting and many different conditions could be designed. After the survey has exited, we go ahead and one last time also process the survey response. And this is a subset playbook which we use for processing response. And this we do till we go ahead and update all the last set of respondents in the list uh, that we have. Let's go through the iterate survey response playbook. This is a very simple playbook. It just calls the process survey response playbook and iterates through it till you have some more uh, data available. Inside of the process survey response playbook, this is where meet of the work happens. This is a playbook which you should customize. The rest of the playbooks could stay as is other than changing the survey questions. This is where what you want to do with each response resides. In this playbook, what you're seeing is, first of all, we go ahead and apply employee response status to saying the person has notified, uh, the person has responded to our survey. Then we have just created two different paths here. Does the user need IT help? Does the user need HR help? And these are based on the questions that we have sent in the survey, which we will see when we run the playbook live. Here we see if they do need IT help, create an IT ticket with the right details. If they need HR help, create the HR ticket with the right details. And then we go ahead and update the health status and increment the index so that we can iterate through the next particular response. All of this is being done without writing any custom code. We're just using workflows to go through each of the response in the survey. Let's see it in action. For actually running this particular playbook, we're gonna use a concept of jobs. Job is a way to run playbooks at a certain interval. So let's say, we're going to start a new survey here, survey for employees. That's the name we give. And the playbook that we had defined, we're going to just search it right here. And that was the employee status survey playbook. We don't need to fill in the other details. We just create a new job and we pick this job. And rather than setting up a schedule for our demo purposes, we're going to run it right now. So playbooks starts to run and we can see it live here in action. So we went to uh, get all the details of managers, different managers. So uh, we have one manager here, Alice Green, we got all of their direct reports. These are the list of direct reports. All the data comes in. All of the employee records for each of those people uh, can be uh, seen that we have updated those records. You see right here, and once those have been updated, then we go ahead and send the survey out. So the employee status questionnaire is waiting for people to respond and it'll stay in the state till either the SLA has expired and you can skip SLAs, or if you want to say that after a certain number of responses, you can go ahead and close the survey. So at the same time, this part of the playbook is running to iterate through the response. I'm going to quickly switch and see how this looks like in an end user mailbox when they receive an email. So here is a 
view of the email that uh, we have the end user has received and I have sent it to myself in this case. You can see there is a URL. Of course, the URL has been uh, uh, mangled because of our security here policy here. Otherwise, you could just uh, literally click the URL right here to go respond to the survey. The response looks pretty straightforward. So here are the questions that we had designed for our user uh, asking a uh, few different things, which is how what do you think about your health condition? I'm not feeling well, employee is not feeling well, uh, your family member is not feeling well, I have no health issues and so on and so forth. Let's say I'm not feeling well. I need medical help and want to take time off. So you can put in comments. On the IT front, let's say in this scenario, uh, we do not need IT help. So we'll say, no, I'm good. This is an optional questionnaire. Some of them could be mandatory. Some of them could be optional and we submit answers. This is how easy it is for an employee to respond to a survey. They don't need to log in nothing and they have finished their response. Let's switch back to the uh, playbook that we were running and how our system looks like. At this point of time, one of the response has come in and that already should have been processed in the background. But I'm also going to go ahead and respond to another survey because we have sent the survey out to two people. And that is why the process keeps running to show the process of the closer and how data is collected. Let me go ahead and respond to the other survey. So here's the second survey. In this survey, I'm actually saying I have no health issues, but I do need IT help. And I can say my network, actually I say I am not able to connect to corporate network. I just submit that. Okay, there you go. So as we see here, this question, uh, the survey has been the uh, completed and the responses have been all processed. Now, if we go back and see, look at uh, our incident database, because we just created two new IT incidents. So from one user, we have an IT incident, the other is HR incident. All the details that we had put in are also visible inside of these tickets. And then uh, if we go in and look at the dashboard, the dashboards are updated with all the right setup data right here. And the two employees here who need uh, help. So they are listed here as well. That's it for the demo. All of these sample playbooks and the survey that we showed in the demo are available in Cortex XOR content pack for you to use and customize. Thank you.